Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If I look a little bit different, if my hair looks a little bit longer, that's because it is. I actually have extensions in today. They're pretty long, these are the extensions I wore at my wedding. I used to wear extensions all the time. I actually used to have the like, I think they were called cold infusions where they were like beaded into your head and I hated them. I suffer from migraines, so they were awful. I literally paid like $600 to have these extensions put in and I feel like I had them in for two weeks and ended up taking them out, not to mention they kept slipping out of my hair. The main reason I wear extensions anyways because my hair is really thin and really fine. Of course I like having a little bit of length but that's not really my main concern. It's more the fact that my hair is really fine and it's so thin it's hard to do anything with. So if I'm going to an event or doing something where I really want to curl my hair and style it really pretty, I will put in just a couple wefts of extensions just to really hold that curl because these extensions are amazing. They're um, Bellamy extensions, I think I'm saying that right, but they're amazing and they hold curl so well. So yeah, that is a big reason I wear these. My hair is pretty long in the first place. Let's see, like this is my real hair that goes down to here. So these just add a couple inches, but again, it's not even necessarily as much for length for me as it is for thickness and to style my hair easier. I know this is absolutely insane, but sometimes I will even put in some of these extensions and just side braid my hair before I work out because my hair has so many layers to it that it actually slips out of the braid so easily and these hold in so much better. So I know that sounds insane because it's like you're putting hair extensions in to go to the gym and I will just, I don't even care really what they look like. I just throw it in, side braid it just so that it will hold. Just wanted to point that out because sometimes it's funny when people like get on camera and their hair is to here and then they get back on camera and it's like down to their waist and you're like, what happened? I know your hair didn't grow overnight. What'd you do? What I wanted to sit down and do today was a drugstore makeup look. A lot of these products are found at the drugstore, but some of them are online, like for example, ColourPop. So this is a drugstore look with a little bit of different brands, but all of the brands in this look are extremely affordable. Um, this ColourPop concealer that I use, I think is like $5.99. Amazing concealer, we'll get into that later. I actually do not have a drugstore eyeshadow palette which is insane apparently i need to go get a bunch of eyeshadows to try out from the drugstore because i was going through my collection and i was thinking everyone i've had i've like given away like i had a uh, maybelline nudes eyeshadow palette and my mom was like looking through my makeup room she's like i love this and i gave it to her so i'm actually going to try out for eyeshadow today it's a bh cosmetics palette that my mother-in-law got me for christmas and this brand is extremely affordable as well and there are so many colors in this palette that I am dying to try. I mean, look at that. Come on, look at all of those colors. I'm so excited to try this out. So yeah, you guys, let's go ahead and get started on this a drugstore slash affordable makeup look. So let's go ahead and get started on our Fulch, AKA face. I wanted to show two primers that I love. This is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. It looks like this. I really like to put this primer on my T-zone, mainly in my cheek area, because I do have a lot of pores. I think that I have said that before. And this is just a really good pore filling primer. So I really focus this right on the top of my nose, on my cheeks. I kind of like to press it in too and I press it into my chin and a little bit on my forehead. This is a very silicone based primer, so please keep that in mind when you go to use this. It does feel like it slips and slides a little, so I like to really make sure I push this in. I use a little bit of product, and then I also give it a second to like really get into those pores. The other primer that I wanted to talk about, I'm not going to be using today, but I do love this L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. It is beautiful. I've talked a little bit about this on camera before, I believe, and just said sometimes if I'm not even using makeup at all, I will just go in with this and put it all over my face and it gives you the most beautiful glow. I love this stuff. This is my second bottle of this. It's so good. It actually comes out as like a white 
pearl color which just gives the most beautiful glow on the skin. I was going to use this today, but just realized that the foundation I am going in with, I wanna use a primer today that's really gonna sink into those pores, which is why I went for the Maybelline Baby Skin, because this is very illuminating, and with the foundation I'm gonna use in this video, I would rather use the other primer, if that makes sense. This is a primer I will use when I'm using a very matte foundation. For example, my L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation. I will use this always before going in with that one because it's such a matte foundation. If I'm going in with something that's a little bit more dewy, I will stay away from this one just because I don't want to be too shiny or too dewy. So yeah, we are going to skip on this one. I will use this in a tutorial in the future. So let's go ahead and move on to foundation. Today we're going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I have talked about this a little bit before in my channel, but I actually just had to reorder a new shade. This is in the shade Soft Beige because my other one is a little too dark for me right now. Ladies, gentlemen, whomever, if you have not tried this foundation, please do yourself a favor and go out and pick it up. This foundation is $5.99 and it comes in a really nice glass bottle as you can hear. This foundation is stunning. So the formula does have a really strong smell. I will be honest, it smells like paint, but I really actually like the wand that it comes in. It looks like this. So what I do is just take a little bit of the product and I'm going to be using my Real Techniques sponge to apply this. So what I like to do is take the foundation on the wand and just apply it directly to my sponge like so. You can add a little bit more if you feel that you want a little bit more coverage in areas. I feel like so many people feel that they have to have, you know, a $40 foundation to achieve a beautiful seamless finish and that's just not true. This foundation is amazing. It really does like it claims to be photo focus and that is so true. I have used this foundation in photography before and it really does give you that filtered look. This foundation is amazing. There are so many drugstore options out there. But please do not feel like you have to spend 30, 40, 50 dollars on a foundation to get a beautiful look. That is not the case. Just do a little bit of research on what foundation is best for your skin type, whether you're a dry or oily combination. Again, most of you probably know this, but if you're extremely dry, maybe stick away from an extremely matte foundation. Go in with something that's a little bit more dewy. So for example, you could go for the L'Oreal Pro Glow. So just try to do a little bit of research and just give some of these drugstore foundations a try because I'm telling you, there are some drugstore foundations I have in my collection that I would absolutely put up next to my Armani foundation or my Becca foundation, my NARS foundations. Those are great, don't get me wrong, but you can achieve the same finish with other affordable foundations. So please, again, do not feel like you have to spend an arm and a leg to get a beautiful makeup application. That's just not the case. I'm going to go in with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. It looks like this. I am going to place this up under my eyes, a little on my lids, on my forehead, down the bridge of the nose, of course, and right in this area. I tend to get a little bit red right here in this area next to my nose. So I will go ahead and throw some concealer right there. My sponge was getting a little bit dry, so I'm gonna take a little bit of Fix Plus and spritz it. Does the trick every time, and that is the Lavender Fix Plus, and it smells amazing. So this is what our face is looking like so far. It just blends beautifully, and concealer blends well over top of it. I'm obsessed with that foundation. And it's so affordable that it's like, this sounds bad, but if something happens to it or I need to get a different shade, it's not like, you know, 
my NARS foundation that's $50 that it's like, oh, you know, I can just grab a new shade for when I'm more light or I can grab a new shade for when I'm more self-tanned. I can't do that with that foundation. That's way too, way too expensive and I don't want to do that. So foundations like this that are $5.99 a bottle, if you can't find your perfect shade, buy two and mix them. That's still only $12. So you guys, you catch my drift. For setting powder, we are going to go in with the number seven translucent powder. This is the first time I've tried this, but I've heard amazing things about this. It comes with a little puff, which I love. Some people use this and really just use the powder and press it into their skin, which is great. But I am actually going to pick up my Real Techniques setting brush. You guys have seen me use this before. I dumped a little into the cap and then I'm going to put my brush in there. And then set our under eyes. And then I of course take the leftover powder that's in the lid and I like to set down everywhere else that I place that concealer. So I'll put it on the chin, down my nose, on my forehead. As you can see, I did put it up on my lid. So another trick that you guys have seen me do is to pick up, again, more of that powder. And I like to set it on my little smile lines that I get right here because that is the first place that foundation loves to set in on my face. I really do like that setting powder as well. So far, so good. I can kind of give you guys a little bit of a first impressions about some of these products as well during the video. So thumbs up for that powder. I do like that. It was actually recommended to me by some of you guys. So thank you. A lot of people have said that is like their go-to translucent powder and I was really excited because I love the brand number seven. So I immediately got on Walgreens and ordered it to give it a try. So next we are going to go in with this number seven bronzer in the shade Caramel. Again, I have not used this product yet, so I'm really excited. I am going to pick up this Morphe M105 brush and lightly swirl it around in this beautiful bronze color. I can already tell you I went in a little too heavy handed with that powder. So this bronzer is beautiful, but use a very light hand because I am going to have to go in and really blend away some of that bronzer. It is a lot more pigmented than I thought it was going to be. But overall, very pretty bronze. As you can tell over here, this is where I went in a little bit too strong. I should have known better than to go in that heavy handed, but it's okay. It's blending away. You can tell over here we have a very strong bronze, but it's still very beautiful nonetheless. So I really do like this bronzer so far. Just go in light handed. Another option for beautiful bronzer from the drugstore. I won't say anymore. Just no, just no. Oh, and I just cut a whiff of it. Ugh, oh, it smells so good. Okay. We are going to pick up this eyeshadow palette and see what it is all about. There's a lot to see here. I mean, I already showed you. So I am going to go in with a light shade. Let's try this top one up here. So yeah, I've actually never used any of these BH Cosmetics eyeshadows before, so I was really excited to try them because there are some beautiful shades in here that are spiking to me. I'm going to pick up this pretty brown shade right here, and I am going to put that into my crease. Those are pigmented shadows. Wow, I am shocked. I mean, I didn't think that they were gonna be bad, but these are beautiful. I'm going to pick up this brown shade over here, this deeper brown right here. And I'm just gonna throw a little wash of this right there and that crease as well.
I'm going to go in with this light shade right here. It's almost like a taupey shade. And that shade had a lot of fallout. Make sure you know that if you use a palette like this, it's not a bad thing. It means the shadows are pigmented, but just know that so you can maybe start your eye look first. So yeah, I'm going to smoke it out a little bit in the, a little tiny bit more in the crease. This little deep brown shade. And then just take a big fluffy brush and blend it all together. We're going to move on to liner and this is the Jessie's Girl Liquid Eyeliner. This is very affordable as well. I got this on Ulta. I want to say it's around $6. It has a felt tip that looks like this. Underneath my eye, sometimes I will bring in my liner about halfway, again, because my eyes are hooded and a little bit smaller. That will make your eyes pop. I know it seems weird, but I did learn that from a makeup artist a while back. Next, go in and give those lashes a curl. And I'm going to first be going in with the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. Heard a lot of good things about this. I know Jaclyn Hill talked about it back in the day. My cousin Anne recommended it to me. Let's see. Do you ever get mascara in your blonde hair sometimes? Because me too. I'm going to take the same mascara and coat my lower lashes as well. So I do like this mascara. I feel like it would be a really good mascara prior to going in with falsies as well, just to really coat those lashes with a really black mascara. So this is what the mascara looks like. We are going to go in with this Flower Beauty in the shade Peach Primrose. It looks like this. Just take this. Swirl it around on my brush. This is the Morphe E4. I love this brush for blush. So this is what our face is looking like. Very natural. Last but not least, we are going to go in with this e.l.f. highlighter. You guys already know I love it. This is in the shade Moonlight Pearl. Some of my Cupid's bow. A tiny bit on the nose, like the tiniest amount. And I place a little on my forehead. Just because I like to really glow. And I also dust a little, a tiniest bit on my eyelids. So yeah, that is what the highlight is looking like. We're going to go in with the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick. It looks like this. So this is the lippy without lip liner underneath. A lot of times I will go in and line my lips, but I just didn't today for sake of the video. And then I am going to set my face with the Milani Make It Last setting spray. Thank you everyone for leaving some comments down below of what you want to see from me in the future. I am trying to get my husband on camera. I know some people have requested like husband does my makeup, do my husband's makeup. I'm trying to get him on camera. I'm trying to do his makeup because I just think that would be hilarious. I'm trying to get him to do my makeup and he's like, I don't know. I'm not ready. I don't feel ready. It's because he doesn't know what he's doing. But I also want to get my dad on camera. If you guys know anything about my dad, you already know that would be absolutely hilarious. He would probably be even more so clueless than my husband would be. So that could be very entertaining. So yeah, you guys, again, please let me know what else you want to see from me. Please let me know what I can do for you. How can that be of service to you? Because that's what I'm here for. Truth be told, I'm here for you guys. Let me know if there's a brand you want to try, if there's a makeup look you want me to do. Just let me know whatever you want me to do. I'm here for you, okay? 
Thank you guys again for hanging out with me. I love you guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye. I need to invest in a chair that has a back on it, not a stool. See, no back. Looks like these. But it's killing my back. I'm like, ouch, I'm in pain. Lots of pain. And, and today we are be go we be going to use, girl, so good. So good, I want to eat it. Splunge, splunge. Oh my word. You can see my decor. Do I need a full face of glam to come to Kroger to get some croissants? No, I don't think so.